Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be doing a full face of TJ Maxx makeup slash a little shop with me because this is what happened. So yesterday I went to TJ Maxx thinking I'm doing a shop with me and then I got there and I ended up just forgetting about the entire store because when I saw the makeup, I was like, okay, I have to do a full face. There was so much stuff, you guys. So we're gonna do the shop with me portion. I'll show you guys all the stuff that I found and then I'll come back and we'll get ready together and I'll do a full face. So make sure you grab a snack, get cozy and let's go shopping. Guys. So today is a great day here at TJ Maxx. There is so much stuff here, like a ton of makeup. It looks like it's like fully stocked. So first thing I see here is this Smashbox primer set. This actually is a really good deal. You get an eye primer, an under eye primer, and a face primer for 25 bucks. There's also a lot of Morphe today, like a lot of the bigger palettes, as you see over there. There's also a Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette from her vault collection i'm not sure if these are still available but i see these all the time here for like 10 12 bucks and there's a ton of bh cosmetics which i feel like this is another very popular brand at tj maxx and marshall's this is pretty popular palette 10 bucks and i love bh formula it's such nice quality for the price and there's also a becca face palette here Ooh, $20. So it looks like you get a bronzer and some lighter shades in here as well. Not bad. There's also this 10 color bronzer palette from BH. That looks so pretty. Honestly, these kind of look like blushes and bronzers mixed. This brand is another very popular brand at TJ Maxx, Cara Beauty. They have a ton of different palettes. This one is one of them, $8. They also have some down here. I've tried this eyeshadow formula before and I think it's really good, especially like for the price, but they also have their own website with a ton of palettes as well. But this one is $9 and they usually come in all different colors. Like they have a another one back here a yellow one that's really fun so they have really good color stories with different like pops of color if you need a colorful eyeshadows this is a nice brand we have some more BH cosmetics right here the spotlight and highlight palette so it looks like you get some highlighters in here and this is six dollars lots of good stuff a ton of makeup revolution as well I feel like makeup revolution tends to be here with a lot of stuff that was like at one point limited edition. And then they have a lot of those palettes here. Like I remember this palette, the Emily Noel collab. I loved this. There's also some Urban Decay right here. Little Tarte palette. This $13 for this little mini Tarte palette. These are usually pricey. There's also these BH Cosmetics little nine color eyeshadow palettes for $5. I've tried these before. Also really good quality. And this one is really pretty. It's like a like warm toned palette. So they have quite a few of these as well. I also really love these bigger palettes from BH Cosmetics. So this is like a really pretty darker bronzer palette. And it has some darker bronzers and highlighters in here. So really good if you are like tanner, darker than I. I am six dollars you guys such a good deal so yeah like i said there's a ton of other little palettes like this most of these are eyeshadow palettes but they also have a couple face palettes in here as well so if you see them definitely snag them up i like those a lot more eyeshadow palettes here do you guys remember how much drama this palette caused in the beauty community back in like 2017 it's crazy and the palette is 25 dollars. they also have this one this is one of my favorites i remember i did a couple makeup looks with this palette and i really actually like it so i I think this is a good find. It's just really fun, really pretty for the summertime. And there's more of this brand, Cara Beauty. I really like it a lot. And this one is $10, so it's like a bigger, colorful palette. I actually bought this pink one last year and I love it. I did a couple different pops of color with it. So these are fun. And another BH palette. These are amazing, five bucks. I love their blush formula. Okay, Honest Beauty is here. I love this brand. The cream blushes and their moisturizer are like my current favorites, but what is this? Dab on however much you want, anywhere you want. Okay, so I just found a ton of stuff in this little section right here. A lot of good products. So there's some Pacifica foundations for $4. There's also this Smashbox Photo Finish Vitamin Glow Primer for $17. These are usually like 40 bucks. There's also this little prime and set kit from Becca and this is $9.99. I feel like I've heard of this brand before. Vita Liberata and this is the Beauty Blur Sunless Glow Cream. It's like a CC cream and it is $10. 
more from this brand here. This is a high definition, like a body foundation. This one is $14.99. There is some touch and sole back here. No pore blum base, redness and pore covering. Wow, I've never seen this brand here and this is 10 bucks. And there's also this BH mattifying face primer. I've never even seen this before, but it's $4. This I remember using years ago, the Cover FX Matte Setting Powder. $9.99. They always have good brushes here, like Eco Tools, Real Techniques. This little set is actually a good one too, like as a complexion set. $7 for three brushes is a steal. There's a lot of good eye brush sets as well if you need smaller brushes. I love this brand too. I used this a lot in college. And sometimes you can find Sigma brushes. And I swear by Sigma brushes. I know that they're pricey, but the quality is like amazing they will last you forever these brushes so these are a little bit pricier per brush but like i said the quality is really really nice another good brush kit 14.99 for all of these brushes that's such a good deal this is another touch and sole primer this is actually the one that i used to use years ago it's like really really smoothing and it's 10 bucks as well so the other one is for redness and this one is more for like smoothing and pores and i came across this really pretty pure palette and it's apparently an eyeshadow palette with hemp and we're gonna try it out. And there's some soap and glory here. This is a skin illuminating primer for five bucks. I actually forgot about this brand, but I remember really loving it at one point. So this brand, Beauty Concepts, never heard of it, but look at these colors. This looks like such a beautiful face palette. You get some blushes, highlighters, a bronzer for six bucks. Yeah, I told you guys there was a lot of stuff, so I got it all. Just kidding, I didn't get it all, but I got a couple things that I haven't used before that I wanted to try out. So I just had on a little lip oil. I wipes that off and I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals Glow Balm. This is for lips, cheeks, and eyes. I've never even heard of this product before, but it was $7.99. Oh, it's like a clear gloss with like glitter in it. Mmm. The glitter feels gritty on the lips. Like, as I'm rubbing my lips together, I can feel the glitter. You can probably see it on the applicator. So that is what the product looks like. So you can see it is like a very juicy kind of wet balm on the lips but it's just really glittery so definitely not something that i would use on my eyes or on my cheeks the lips i mean i like it on the lips because it is so like glowy i just don't like the glitter like we can actually feel the glitter on the lips then i came across this brow pencil this one is from bdb billion dollar brows and this is apparently a universal brow pencil that's like the main reason why i got it because i'm like is it really universal we're gonna try it out so do a little outline here Ooh, okay. I actually like the formula of this. I don't feel like maybe this would be actually universal because I feel like not everybody has brows this color, but I do think it is a nice color. Okay, this is not like my favorite brow pencil, but like it's actually working. And to fill in the rest of my brows, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Gel and Powder Eyebrow Kit. I have not used this in so long. This was one of e.l.f.'s old like OG products that they used to, I mean, they still carry it, but this was like around for a very long time. I think this used to be like a dollar or two, like 10 years ago. It's $2.99 now. They had actually a couple different shades, so I just got the darkest one. I've mentioned this before, but I think it would be so cool if e.l.f. would kind of like revamp their OG products and just make like a comeback with their OG products you know what I mean same products maybe just like upgrade the packaging upgrade the formulas a little bit and extend some shades and basically like relaunch their OG products but better than before if that makes sense that's kind of like what I always think whenever I see these products I'm like that would be so cool if elf did that even like this packaging just brings me back to like 2011 it's crazy oh my gosh so with this product you get a dark brow gel and then you get the powder and I'm just gonna mix both of them this is like the only kind of brow product that I feel like could work for me when I was looking. Okay, I mean, not my favorite product from e.l.f. I definitely prefer their pomade. I just know what I like when it comes to me doing my brows. I don't think this is a bad product though. I think it just really depends on what kind of products you like for your brows. You already know we're gonna be carving out the brows and I managed to find a concealer there, which I did not expect, because that's another thing. I feel like the concealer and foundation shades at TJ Maxx are always all over the place, but I ended up finding one. So this is from the brand Crop and this is like a vegan brand. It's like all natural apparently and this one is in the shade Nude. It was $3.99. They actually had a couple different products from this brand here. I've seen it before. The brand is Crop. Oh. Okay, I wonder if this is old. It probably is, to be honest. 
Okay, the color I think is actually gonna be pretty on point. This was the only shade that they had. It actually feels super creamy. I just don't know why the concealer looks like this. Maybe is it old or is the product like settling to the bottom maybe? I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm sure if any of you guys have worked there, you could probably vouch. But I've heard different things about the makeup at TJ Maxx. Some people say it's expired. Other people say it's not. It's like, I feel like it's kind of one of those things like buy it at your own risk. I personally have never had any issues. Maybe not all of it is. I mean, clearly I am one of the people who <laughs> doesn't mind because I still use it. Like I said, I've never had any issues, but I guess just something that I like to mention just to keep in mind. But let's actually prime with that same concealer. I'm just going to put some on my lids in... We're gonna hope for the best because I have a new eyeshadow palette. So for eyeshadow palette, I came across this Pure Cosmetics Extreme Visionary palette. I love the packaging. That's like what drew me in, but also the colors look really, really beautiful. So let's see. Oh, okay. Not what I expected. I don't know. I thought they were gonna be like a little bit, little bit more intense. I, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more vibrant. They're more neutral than I thought. They're still really pretty though. I just thought they were gonna be slightly more vibrant. I'm gonna take this shade right down here. Oh wow, it's really pigmented. I'm just gonna put that in my crease. Oh my gosh, wait, that concealer, you guys, is so dry on my lids. I don't wanna put eyeshadow over that, so I'm actually gonna wipe that off. Yeah, I don't think the concealer is very good, but that's okay. I'm just gonna wipe it off and I'll just use like just a regular eye primer. Let's try this. This color looks really dark though, actually. It's darker than I thought. So I'm thinking, let me use something a little bit lighter. So I think I might just use this color right here. This is actually more pigmented than I thought though. Like not gonna lie. It actually is showing up better than expected. And then I think I'm gonna take this really pretty like red. It's called Rebel. And with Rebel, I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. And then I'm gonna add a little shimmer right in the center. So I'm surprised at the pigment. I will say like the formula is not my favorite. The shadows feel a little bit dry. Yeah, this one definitely does. It's pigmented though, but you have to kind of work with it a little bit because it is a little bit of a drier formula. Especially comparing it to the first color that I used, it feels just like upon just touching it, it just feels drier. So I feel like colors like this though tend to be, from what I've heard, like just more difficult to make, like purpley red tones. So maybe that's why. Then I'm gonna take this really pretty like light pink. Uh, that color is not actually super pigmented but i'm gonna just use my finger because i think your finger helps more than a brush sometimes with making the color pop it's actually a really pretty shade how much was this palette 10 bucks okay so i would say though like i think there's definitely other better brands when you're going to tj maxx and you're getting like discounted palettes i would say like stick to bh or just like Cara Beauty, like there's just other brands that I think have better quality than this one. I just wanted to try this one because I was honestly so intrigued by the packaging. So I actually love these tones, especially with that pink. I kind of just like emphasized it a little bit more and I think the tones are so pretty. I'm just not in love with the eyeshadow formula. Now I have a new mascara. This is from the brand Well People and it has a Best of Beauty Allure winner on here. So it's a plant-based mascara and this one was $3.99. Love this packaging. Ooh, I like the wand as well. Wow, it's really, really nice. I also did get an eyeliner. I almost forgot, but I did get a pencil liner. I didn't want to do liquid liner, so I'm just going to stick with, like, lashes today. So this mascara looks like it's separating my lashes, but it's also very natural, so it's not adding, like, a ton of volume or anything like that. It's not thick or clumpy. It's super super natural and then for lashes i found the ardell wispies these are one of my favorites so i wanted to get these because they looked the prettiest out of all the ones that i saw you really cannot go wrong with the ardell wispies now i'm going to move into primer and when i was like finishing up everything i was like okay i need to find a setting spray 
and I found one. This was like literally the only setting spray in the entire TJ Maxx. And of course it's from Milani. It was like, it was meant for me. So this is the Make It Last and this is the cherry scented spray. I don't think these are available anymore, but I always love all of Milani's Make It Last sprays. They usually come out with new scents for like different collections, but this was $3.99. So that's a good deal. Typically these are a little pricier. I can imagine this is like brand new. It's like sealed and everything. This is probably just one of those products that maybe didn't sell at the drugstore and they just moved it over to TJ Maxx. I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna use this and I'm so mad you guys because I had an eye primer here in this little Smashbox primer set. There's literally a 24 eyeshadow primer and I was so mad. I noticed it when I was putting on my lashes, but I'm definitely gonna use these other two primers, so. So refreshing. I love these Milani sprays. They're literally the best. So this is a little primer set. So the only travel size product is the face primer, but both of these other primers are full size. Let me swatch this eye primer. So the reviews I looked at this, this retails for $22 and they're pretty hit or miss. A lot of people like it. A lot of people don't. Some people say it dries a little bit too fast. Ooh. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, that looks so funny, but that is the primer right there. <laughs> This actually feels like a thicker, like silicone kind of primer, honestly. So let me just show you the consistency of it. Again, this is the eye primer. Yeah, it's thick. It honestly, kind of reminds me of like a pore filling primer. Anyways, let's go in with these primers instead because these are like ones that I'm most excited for, especially the hydrating under eye primer. This is a full size product. I'm gonna just kind of blend that in with my sponge a little bit. This actually feels really nice. This doesn't feel as thick as that eye primer. It's so creamy and it blends really easily into the skin. And then I'm gonna go in with the Photo Finish Primer. I think I used this before. This is the travel size. Yeah, it's like a kind of silicone primer. Wow, it's like really watery. I have to shake it up, honestly. This is a silicone, like kind of one of those like clear primers. I'm gonna put this where I have larger pores. Definitely is smoothing, but it's not my favorite. I think there's better smoothing primers, but I did really like that under eye primer. That feels nice and hydrating. Also, like I said, I did get an eyeliner, so let me tight line my upper lash line. I got this one from Marc Jacobs. It's the highliner, and this was $6.99. I don't think I've ever tried a Marc Jacobs eyeliner. Maybe, maybe years ago. So you take it, this is the packaging, and then you just twist it. Wow, it looks super black, very creamy and pigmented. I'm gonna tight line and then I'm also gonna apply this on my waterline later on. I love how black this is. Now for foundation, I got a little leaky one here. So she put it in a separate bag for me, which is really, really nice. It's like the little things, but this foundation, it's a mess. And the reason I got it is because it's like the only one that I feel like would be my shade. So this is the Pacifica All Light Clean Foundation. It was $3.99. This brand still exists. You guys can still find Pacifica at, they used to be at Target. Now I believe they only have their skincare at Target and like body care products, but now you can find their makeup at Ulta. And this says it's an oil-free anti shine satin finish foundation. I'm gonna use my sponge to blend this in. And we'll see with the color. Okay, actually the color might not be that light. And this sponge, by the way, I got it from the Dollar Tree. I talked about it in my last video, which was a full face of Dollar Tree makeup, and it's so good. This foundation is super runny, but it looks like it has coverage. I think I used this years ago, but I definitely have not tried a Pacifica complexion product in a long, long time. And when I saw this, I was like, okay, I have to try it. And plus it's $4, so I think it actually looks really good. It's pretty. It's really dewy, but also kind of like not too much. But there is some dew peeking through there. Definitely covered up what I needed it to, but it's still, like I still have my little beauty marks here peeking through. So it's not totally full coverage, but it covers up, I think just enough. And I'm sure you could build it up. I definitely used more than what you would need, but it looks good though. Good, looking good. My lips are not looking good, but we'll get there in a minute. Now let's go in with that concealer. I don't really have high hopes for this, to be honest, but let's try it for the under eyes because, you know, I used it earlier to clean up the brows and it was really creamy. It's just when I applied it on my lids, it just looked so dry. But like right now as I'm applying it, it feels creamy. We'll see. See, it is actually really creamy. I feel like it's just more dry maybe because it's old. 
So, so far my favorite products is probably the eyeliner that I just used from Marc Jacobs. I'll have to see how it looks on my waterline, but that, the foundation, and the under eye primer so far. And then I'm gonna go in with powder. This is the Cover FX Matte Setting Powder. Got this for 10 bucks. I remember buying this like a long time ago and it was so expensive. I'm so curious to see if this powder is still available and how much it is. So it's still available. There's two shades and the powder actually is expensive. It retails for $35. Oh, and it's a talc-free powder as well. Wow, okay, cool. So I just put a little bit right on my sponge and this one's in the shade light. I did not know that this was talc free. So I love that. I'm just gonna put this on actually with my sponge all over my face. So I'm dipping into the back of the powder and then I kind of put a little extra right on the back of my hand just so that I don't use too much. And then I'll just kind of add more as I apply the product all across my face. The powder seems to be pretty smooth. All right, now for bronzer and blush, I got the Becca Face Palette, and this is 20 bucks. You get four different colors in here, so let's open this up. So Becca is actually, it's so sad, it's no longer a brand anymore, which honestly, it makes me really sad to know that the OG brands, some of them are just no longer brands. It truly is like, the end of an era in the beauty community and I feel like Becca really set everything off especially with highlighter so if you do want any Becca products TJ Maxx but this is what the palette looks like it's really pretty looks like you get a bronzer blush and two highlighters grand reveal oh okay they're all shimmery though which I kind of wish they weren't they're like baked. So I'm gonna start with the bronzer let's try this I love the big mirror though in these Becca palettes I've always loved that Okay, the color and the formula is actually better than I thought. I thought it was going to be like very, very glittery, but it's actually pretty. Now let's try the blush. This looks like a baked blush. This is actually pretty. I guess I just wish the bronzer was matte, but it actually ended up looking better than expected anyway, so it doesn't even matter. I'm trying to take this little plastic off on the mirror, which is always so satisfying, by the way. Like, love. Now, the blush is pretty as well it looks like a baked blush it's not super pigmented like i feel like you get more of the glow than anything and then i'm going to use the highlighter right here and i'm actually you know what let's use the pink highlighter because we got some pink going on today yeah this basically kind of looks like the blush honestly it's like probably the same color maybe like one shade a little bit lighter but it's like the same thing but that's so pretty though it's like a pinky very wearable highlight so these are what all four of the colors in the palette look like. So they are pretty light. I think this would be nice if you are lighter than I am. These colors would really pop. But that's also only if you like glowy products. They are pretty pigmented though, but when you put them on your skin, they're gonna be a little bit lighter obviously because they're more glowy than anything. The bronzer is the least glowy of them all, which I do like. All right, now let's put on a lip product because my lips are fiending for something. So I found this Cover FX monochromatic lip color. I don't even know the color, like what it's gonna look like, but it's in Sweet Mulberry. So let's try this. It's purple. I honestly thought this was gonna be like a really pretty gloss or like, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, it says it on here. It's a pigmented liquid lip color. Maybe we'll do the lips in a minute. So let me do some black eyeliner first. It's pretty creamy. Creamy and black, which I do like. You guys, I cannot believe that liquid lipstick. I'm gonna put it on, but I can't believe that color. I've never used a color like that on my lips, so I'm a little scared about how it's gonna look, but it's all about just experimenting. And then for the inner corners, I'm gonna just take a little bit of this color right up top. It's like a shimmery champagne. I'm gonna just put that right in the inner corners. Okay, that is so pretty. I feel like the shimmers in here are probably the prettiest out of the entire palette. I also got a brow gel. So this is the Sculpting Brow Mascara. This is from Is Me New York. And this was $2.99. Yeah, the brow products for me are gonna be a big no. Definitely save your money. There's so many better brow products, especially at the drugstore. I am not prepared for this lip color, but we're gonna do it anyway. I guess that's like what's fun about it, you know? So let's go with it. Cover effects in the shade Sweet Mulberry.
I'm gonna let that dry and see how it feels. The formula does feel nice, I will say, like applying it, it's very, very pigmented. Last but not least, I'm gonna set my makeup and that is it. So we are officially all done with this makeup look. I think it's really just the brows that are throwing me off the most, surprisingly. It's not even the lip color. Like it is, but the brows are just... I also don't really love the eyeshadow palette. I think if you are shopping at TJ Maxx or really Marshalls or anything, BH Cosmetics is probably your best bet. They just have such great quality. So I think if you try out any of their face palettes or their eyeshadows, you won't be disappointed. But there's a couple things where I feel like if you're at TJ Maxx, you can definitely skip out on like brow products, mascaras, just save your money, go to the drugstore, go to Ulta but I think palettes are probably your best bet and also like certain things like this cover effects powder I thought that was a really good find I like that this is talc free it's very smooth on the skin it feels really nice not drying and I also really liked the foundation but with complexion at TJ Maxx it's so hit or miss they never really have like consistent shades so that's the only thing but I'm pretty sure you can still get this foundation like it should still be available like at Ulta but it's really nice the coverage was decent but it's so pretty and lightweight on the skin I also really like the Becca palette and I feel like if you like Becca's formulas if you're more fair, you would like this. And it's not too glittery. It's actually really smooth on the skin. So I do like this. The Smashbox primers were mm, meh. I think my favorite was probably the under eye primer. The other two, not so much. Did not like this little glow bomb from Bare Minerals. Mm, I would pass on that. The concealer was a dud. Couple duds in here, but also there's a couple good things in here. Like this Marc Jacobs eyeliner, I really like. And also let's talk about this liquid lipstick. So the color clearly, I feel like it just doesn't flatter my skin tone. And it just doesn't look good on me at all. But I really like the formula because first of all it's kiss proof but it's so opaque and pigmented and i'm one of those people that actually still loves liquid lipstick like dose of colors for instance is like my, my favorite but i also really like this because one swipe is all you need to get that pigmentation i like the fact that it's kiss proof and it feels comfortable even though it is a matte liquid lipstick let me know what you guys think i'm curious to hear your thoughts and if you have tried any good products from tj maxx let me know like what was the best product that you recently found for me i would say it's probably the cover effects powder and the Marc jacobs eyeliner these are like my two like standout products products today that I thought were good finds. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.